are roughly 50 million objects that narrowly pass Earth every day. Now astronauts are warning the world to be prepared for the big one, the asteroid that could strike Earth, causing major devastation and death. On June 19th of 2004, astronomers discovered an asteroid now known as Apophis. It was named after the Egyptian god of chaos, death, and darkness after its trajectory was recognized to intersect that of Earth. Apophis is said to pass through Earth's atmosphere in the year 2029. It will come closer than it ever has before. When it does, scientists will be waiting and watching to see whether Apophis passes through what is called a keyhole or a window in space. If it does, Apophis will return seven years later to collide with Earth on April 13th, 2036. Now the question remains, what is the likelihood that Apophis will pass through the keyhole? If our current orbital parameters for the Apollo asteroid Apophis hold true, then it does hit the keyhole in 2029, and that does bring it back seven years later to a highly likely impact on Earth. At the moment, Apophis is the asteroid of the greatest concern to the scientific community. But as Professor Delaney explains to me, objects of concern pop up on a regular basis. These objects are referred to as flying couches because of their size they can cause severe destruction. You can imagine a flying couch coming down in the middle of downtown Toronto. I mean, it, it's moving at a very crisp speed. That has the potential to kill hundreds, if not thousands of people, just by virtue of the kinetic energy dissipation on impact. So yes, Apophis is the concern at the moment that's on the books, but that's why we need Space Watch to be able to find the next danger, which could be literally days or weeks away. Now Canada is stepping up to save the world with their own version of the Space Watch program. Microsat Systems Canada Incorporated is responsible for building a $12 million surveillance system named NEOSAT. This near-Earth object surveillance satellite is designed to detect asteroids set on a collision course with Earth. It's the first satellite that's actually designed to go on orbit and look for asteroids and look for other objects that would be of interest to either the military in the case of, as of uh, satellites or for science and potentially safety of our planet in the case of the asteroids. What happens if NEOSAT does find a near-Earth object that is of concern? That is something that has crossed my mind. It would certainly spark a lot of discussion. There's a huge scale as to whether or not it's, it's a small impact versus something that would be an extinction level event. And if it were that big, then I guess the movies may predict as well as I can what happens. You ever watch the Bucket List movie? I mean, <laughs> that probably is what, what it amounts to. Our ability to deal with an impending extinction level event is almost non-existent. If you look at plots of the Apophis projected uh, uh, trajectories, the what they call error bars, which are the, the uncertainty of where it's going to be, were larger than our planet. So they didn't know whether it was going to miss us to the left or the right or hit smack on the middle. And that's a bad thing to not know. Tens of kilometers from the impact point, y you're toast immediately. Everybody else is going to uh, <laughs> suffer a little bit longer because it will take time for the planetary temperature to cool down. It will take time for the photosynthesis food chain to really become decimated because it can't do photosynthesis anymore and so on. So that's a somewhat longer prospect, unfortunately. You're talking a matter of months? Yes.